I flipped like 20 times but kept going because I had to reach the finish line and well my group's back there and they we didn't have high expectations but you got to keep going <laughs> it's not done so just even though I was a fail but you know it was fun <laughs> um, well we had our walls and they were really junk but we realized that late so we built the we built the frame first and it was really we built it thick with like a lattice pattern underneath and it was like it had a like a bottom and a top to it and so I was like above the water most of the time and so it made it really tippy and I just flipped about 20 times. <laughs> For this boat regatta, it's a combination of the physics and marine science classes as well as the journalism class comes around to capture the whole day. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity for students to take what they've learned in the classroom and apply it to a field situation. So they have to design, do buoyancy calculations, uh, design a boat to the spec specifications of their captain. Uh, so they need to use math and the, the concepts they've been using in both physics and oceanography as far as water behavior um, and apply it to build the best boat possible that can withstand uh, both a calm wave pool and a raging wave pool.
team put in a lot of effort in building the boat, making sure the measurements were correct. And we made sure we put a lot of layers of duct tape around it so that the water wouldn't seep through into the cardboard. And then on the water, we, I made sure to not move around a lot and make sure the water wouldn't get in the boat so that it wouldn't weigh it down and so it would stay afloat. So,